I don't want anyone to think that we're running away from our core customer and the strength that the company has today. This needs to be thought of all of that plus more. So we're going to be doubling down on existing products. We're going to invest in an all-new middleweight platform, which is a modular chassis and a very uh, uh, core uh, engine technology uh, to go in three dramatically different spaces, adventure touring, custom, and street fighter, and do that with multiple models, all this coming within the next two or three years. And then EV is that additional component, which really allows us to reach out and inspire a whole generation of people that aren't even yet thinking about freedom on two wheels. And what you say here is comprehensive cost reduction and reallocation of previously planned investment and resources. So how does that look, especially because when I hear something like cost reduction, I can't help but think job cuts. Yeah, so what we really are challenging ourselves as an organization, and we, we call it self-funding, but to do all of this in the same investment return and capital allocation profile that investors are accustomed to. So we're challenging ourselves internally. How do we need to think about how we approach the business differently given times have changed and we have to accelerate our pace? One of the easiest examples is capital investment. Motorcycle product development takes a lot of capital investment. When you look at the investments that we've made to really solidify leadership in touring and soft tail in particular, a lot of that investment is behind us. So we have the capacity to invest in these new products and we have the capability because we've really refined and dialed in our product development excellence over the last several years. So a lot of this seems like big stuff and it is big stuff, but we're very confident we're gonna be able to execute it as planned.